Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and today I am presenting a small presentation on Python read CSV method. Python read CSV method is actually used to load data from a CSV file or from a text file into a data frame and then you can apply various join and merge operations for data analysis and predictions. So let's begin our today's presentation and I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel if you like this video and watch this video till the end so that you can see the practical demonstration of uh, the code. So let's begin our presentation with today's agenda. So I have divided this presentation into two sections. So first section is an overview of basic concept followed by coding example. So first thing is I'm going to give an overview of Python followed by pandas library. Then we're going to discuss about what is a data frame followed by python read csv method where I'm going to explain the exact syntax followed by various parameters that is required. So let's begin with an introduction to Python. Python is a high level programming language. It has effective high level data structure and a simple but effective approach to object oriented programming. It is quite popular these days and it is widely used for building small to large scale applications. Now let's move on to the next question that is what is pandas. So pandas is an open source library written for Python programming language and it is mainly used for machine learning in the form of data frames. With the help of pandas, you can perform various data manipulation operations such as group by, join, merge seamlessly without any hassle. Okay, so now let's move on to the next section that is a data frame overview. In this section, I'm going to explain the basic concepts and characteristics of a data frame along with the definition. So let's begin with the definition now. What is a data frame? In layman term, a data frame is a two-dimensional data structure. That means data is stored in a tablet format, that is, in form of rows and columns. For example, if you look at an Excel sheet, data is stored in form of rows and columns. In the similar fashion, data is stored in data frames. So if you look in the right hand side of the screen, you have a data frame which is generated by a Python program and you have a header, then you have a column and rows. Now let's move on to the next section which is actually a detailed uh, explanation of the read CSV syntax. So till now like we have discussed a basic overview of Python, pandas and then we discuss what exactly a data frame is and now let's actually focus on the syntax and then we'll going to move uh, to the live coding example and till now if you have any questions then I would request you all to just write down in the comment section and I'll going to respond back. So finally Python read CSV method is actually used to uh, load data from a CSV file or from a text file into a data frame and you can use that data frame to perform various uh, operations for example join uh, or uh, data cleansing activity and uh, final data would be used for your analysis or for any other uh, machine learning uh, predictions so basically uh, if you see the right hand side of the screen uh, you have a small code snippet and that is actually a detailed explanation of uh, what all code is required and the beauty of python is that you are not required to write a lengthy code so it only requires a small uh, chunk of code to read the data from a csv file and load that data into a, uh, a pandas data frame so first two lines are basically importing numpy and pandas and uh, these libraries are actually required to perform various numerical operations or any any uh, operation for example joins or like uh, dropping any data so pandas is required for that and df underscore loan is actually a variable which is actually a data frame name which would be holding all your data and if you see the, that is a read method is actually a method from pandas library so I have used pd uh, to refer to that particular object or the function right and loan.csv is actually a, a file which is actually holding my data it's basically a csv file which i would be reading and loading into df underscore loan and the next parameter is a separator so in this case if it's a csv file it would be a, a, a comma because csv files are normally a comma separated file 
So the next parameter is uh, uh, encoding and I've used uh, ISO 8859-1. You can use UTF-8 that depends on the on the uh, source of the data. Next one is index.column which is used to specify uh, the index that if you want to specify any specific column. Right now just specify as none. Another two important parameters that I want to highlight out here is for uh, other one is n rows which is actually the total number of rows you want to read from a file and skip rows that is basically to skip any of the initial rows and there's another parameter that is d type which is used to specify uh, the data type of a variable uh, or a column that you are reading from a csv file and loading into a data frame so now if you look at the the line number 10 that is df underscore loan uh, dot head so actually what i'm doing is i'm just printing the first three rows uh, of a data frame Now let's move on to the next section which is basically a live coding uh, example. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you how you can just uh, read a CSV file and load that into a data frame for further processing. So guys I'm using a Jupyter Notebook in order to execute my live demo. So what I've done is I've already written the code so that uh, I should not uh, spend too much time on writing the, writing this piece of code. So if you see the first two lines I've just included the imported the libraries and the next one is basically the syntax. And the last line is to print uh, the data which is stored in a data frame. Now let me execute the code in this particular cell and it will going to read data from a CSV file that is loan.csv and load that into a data frame and I would going to highlight uh, uh, our first 20 rows, rows so I've just changed that uh, parameter which was initially 2 to 20 so if you see uh, that uh, it will display all first 20 rows uh, in the data frame so now let me just change that to 2 so again it's just showing first two records from a CSV file okay so now let's move on to the next cell so in this cell, uh, basically the code is exactly same. The only difference is that I want to showcase uh, the encoding parameters, which is actually used to decode uh, data which is stored in a file, right? So in my case, I have actually used uh, both UTF-8 and ISO 8859-5. Uh, so both are working fine for me. But in case if your file is encoded in some specific format, for example, UTF-8, then probably it's always uh, recommended that you use a UTF-8 format. And another important point is like in case if you do not specify the encoding parameter then it would pick up the default value for that. Okay, so now let's move on to the next uh, uh, cell. In this cell I basically highlight two important parameters. First one is n rows and other one is uh, skip rows. So basically I've mentioned uh, n rows value as 10 so it will be to read only 10 records from a CSV file and in case if I just uh, right now I've just mentioned skip rows as 0 so you're seeing header on the top but now I've just mentioned as 1 so what it does is it just skip the header and it has used first row as a header right similarly if I just want to go ahead and uh, uh, skip uh, two rows so it will again skip first two rows and the third row will become a header right now let me just change it back to zero so this is your header and a data frame and if you see that column index is zero so if you see on the right hand side zero one and two these are basically an index which is the default value assigned by the pandas okay so now let's move on to the next cell okay so in this cell i basically want to highlight uh, uh, the d type uh, uh, parameter which was actually used to convert the data type of a column while reading data from a CSV file. So right now if you see the ID column which is the second column is actually defined as integer. So let me just change that to a floating variable. Floating. So if you see the ID now so it's actually converted the value while reading value from a CSV file and put that into a floating uh, uh, variable. Right. So now it's 107750.1. Now I just convert back to an integer value. Okay. So now let's move on to the next uh, cell again, just to see a few more uh, different parameters that you can use. 
Now let me show you how exactly you can print the first uh, uh, first or last uh, row of a data frame. So basically it's very simple. Uh, if you want to print the first two rows, then uh, what you have to do is that you have to specify df underscore loan, which is actually my variable or a data frame variable, dot head, uh, and that you need to specify two. So that will going to print first two uh, values. And in case if you specify df underscore loan dot tail, Two. So what I've done is I've just specified tail as of now. So it's just printing last two lines. Now let's move on to the last cell, which is basically uh, a kind of help a syntax. For example, you stuck somewhere; it's not possible to uh, memorize each and every parameter. So basically, what you can do is you can take help from uh, Python itself. So what you can do is you can write help, and in simple brackets, you need to just write pd dot read underscore csv method so this is basically a, will give you all the details of all the parameters uh, all the possible parameters and what are the possible values and you can make use of uh, the help uh, which is provided by python itself okay so ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our tutorial and i would request you all to uh, please leave your feedback and do subscribe to our channel because uh, we need your support to grow our channel and once again, thank you so much for watching the, uh, this particular video.